Let me give the floor to uh, Dr. Kaspers, uh, uh, who is uh, a world-known expert in pediatric oncology field. And I'd like just uh, for a few minutes to ask you to share your uh, overview about the, maybe you will, I, I don't know, uh, you will touch the education or drug discovery, whichever you would think appropriate for to talk for a few minutes today. Yes, thank you. I think the organizers can mute and un unmute me. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. Right, so it worked. Uh, yeah, uh, also for me, it's uh, a great pleasure to uh, join this uh, Oncoton and uh, congratulations for doing this. And uh, well, 24 hours, it's quite an effort. Um, I'm a pediatric oncologist. I work at uh, the Princess Maxima Center for Pediatric Oncology. And I guess it's one of the messages uh, I have that centralization of the care for children with cancer is uh, quite important. And of course, not easily <clears throat> achievable, but uh, at least we should aim to centralize uh, these children. We managed to do that in the Netherlands. Um, when I started uh, practicing, we had seven centers in the country with about 600 new cases. Um, and then talking about the future and how to further improve in the Netherlands that's trying to go from, let's say, 75% survival to 100%. We thought we, um, we could accomplish that only by bringing the seven centers together into one. And uh, we managed uh, that <clears throat> and we have uh, now uh, been open and up and running for five and a half years. And we are indeed experiencing that we have better outcomes of the care that we deliver. For instance, and I think it makes a lot of sense, for instance, we have uh, a significantly lower incidence of complications during surgery. Um, so I would, I would sort of suggest to all my colleagues to think about how to centralize uh, the patient care in your country. And I, of course, acknowledge this can be difficult, um, it can mean that teams have to move, that some patients have to travel longer. But I think on the long term, it's really uh, important to achieve uh, what we all want at the end, to cure all children with cancer. Thank you so much, Dr. Kaspers. I, I have some news for you. Uh, basically, we, uh, we learned from you and replicated your model also for Armenia. And um, in 2019, and we always bring your example, Netherlands example, when we are talking to other people and we're convincing, we centralized all the care and we established our center based on what you were doing. And just one small example, um, after the centralization, um, just a few days ago, we analyzed the data and for, only for brain, brain tumors, uh, our incidence increased two and a half times. Okay. So it means because of centralization, now we have a control of all the cases. So mm. no child is getting missed, no child is getting out, I mean, majority are getting inside the country. So it was due to the centralization and, uh, and uh, I think uh, better management of resources. So thank you very much for that.